One of the main areas of investigation in my laboratory is to understand the mechanisms regulating mitochondrial transport and its impact on synapse transmission. Together with my colleague, Dr. Tao Song, we are going to discuss some of our findings recently published in cell reports that described how motile exon mitochondria contribute to the variability of synaptic strengths. One of the most notable features of synaptic physiology is the wide pulse-to-pulse -pulse variation in response to identical stimulation. A long-standing question for a decade is how does this variability arise? Many studies have been focused on the structural and stochastic properties of the molecular events underlying the variability of synaptic transmission from neuron to neuron or from synapse to synapses. However, it is not known which dynamic process in axons is the primary source for pulse-to-pulse -pulse variability. Mitochondria maintain synaptic transmission by producing ATP and buffering calcium. One third of axon mitochondria undergo dynamic and bidirectional transport, some of which passing through synaptic terminal. This raises a fundamental question. Can those multi mitochondria contribute to the variability of synaptic strengths? My laboratory recently identified a protein named Cintafilin, which functions as axon mitochondrial docking receptor. Deletion of Cintafilin gene recruit majority of axon mitochondria into multi pool, while overexpressing Cintafilin immobilized almost all the mitochondria within axons. This was confirmed in an in vivo system. Deleting Cintafilin robustly increased axon mitochondrial transport. The Cintafilin mice provide a unique genetic tool to address whether changes in axon mitochondrial motility could compromise the variability of synaptic transmission. We first examined synaptic fluctuation in hippocampal slice. White type mice show post-post variability. Interestingly, the variation was robustly increased in Cintafilin mutant mice, while the mean amplitude, EPSC, will not change. We confirmed these phenotypes in cultured hippocampal neurons. White type neurons show some degrees of post-post variation, in which 38% of axon mitochondrial and motile. A large variability was observed in Cintafilin mutant neuron. Conversely, overexpressing Cintafilin stops mitochondrial transport and reduced variation found in white type neurons. The EPSC amplitude will average through submission of the currents from multiple synapses between neuron pairs, in which each terminal takes different patterns of mitochondrial distribution and motility, and those patterns can change dynamically over time. We next examined synaptic variability at single button level by simultaneously imaging axonal mitochondria and synaptic vesicle release. We measured the synaptic vesicle release using synapfluorin, which is a synaptic vesicle targeted and pH sensitive GFP. Changes in fluorescence intensity reflect the relative strength of synaptic vesicle release and recycling. During trains of stimulation, synaptic vesicle release remained stable at terminals with stationary mitochondria. Well, synaptic vesicle release was reduced starting at the second train at buttons lacking mitochondria. Interestingly, motile mitochondria impact synaptic vesicle release. Synaptic vesicle release was quickly reduced when mitochondria move out of terminals. Mitochondria passing by buttons enhanced synaptic vesicle release. We next treated the neurons with oligomycin, an inhibitor of mitochondrial ATP generation. Synaptic vesicle release was reduced at buttons when mitochondrial ATP production was blocked, a phenotype mimicking buttons lacking mitochondria. We also showed that when neurons were firing, ATP consumption was enhanced, followed by quick recovery at terminals with mitochondria. In contrast, 
with DIM at contra three buttons, we observed only partial and delayed ATP recovery. We propose that at the terminals with a mitochondria, the multi mitochondria have less impact on the EPSC amplitude. In a mitochondria free button, however, mitochondria passing through terminals will influence ATP level and change synaptic vascular release. The multiple ATP dependent processes at the terminals may collectively contribute to synaptic variability. Our studies reveal that the dynamic transport of axonal mitochondria is one of the primary mechanisms underlying the post-to-post -post variability of the presynaptic strengths and provides a new insight into fundamental properties of central nerve systems to ensure the plasticity and reliability of synaptic transmission. Investigation into mitochondrial motility represents an important emerging area for disease mechanism research, particularly for the neurological disorders. Through a neuron's lifetime, mitochondria become aged and dysfunctioned. Those dysfunctional mitochondria at the synapses produce energy less efficiently. Our study will help elucidate the mechanisms regulating mitochondrial motility and synaptic homeostasis in disease neurons.